So, if, as far as river runners go, what are some first aid situations or what type of things should you know, recreational river runners be prepared for in terms of first aid? Yeah. So there's a you know a huge gamut from just on the very basic prevention side of what people are exposed to, which is obviously um, basic things like they've got to be hydrated, they've got to be well fed, so that they're making um, they're strong, they're healthy, they're able to to navigate the the environment, the river that they're on, and and not be um, brought down by by weakness and otherwise being not uh, not feeling well because they're not following basic ideas of prevention. So that's that's first. And foremost, and we try to always uh, highlight that in the classes. Uh, you know, people, we're going to see a lot of folks with, uh, again, on the very minor, very common, but can lead to things that are more serious. We see lots of people getting scrapes and uh, abrasions and bruises and uh, musculoskeletal problems from overuse pro uh, injuries. So, um, so people, again, being ready for things like that, like blisters, like abrasions, like repetitive use, um, orthopedic injuries. Um, you know, occasionally on the um, getting to the more extreme side, we see people uh, falling within, a, you know, hitting a rock while they're rolling, or um, falling out of the, out of a raft and hitting and, and breaking something. In a fairly minor sense, again, like maybe an ankle. One of our, um, you know, the wife of one of our instructors uh, just hurt her leg badly in the raft, just um, getting her her leg uh, hit a rock as she came out of the water, which was not a major event in terms of the amount of force that it took, but she was. She was hurt, um, so we see some musculoskeletal problems, like like some more severe, more significant sprains and fractures that are that are important. And then on the other extreme, what we see are the things that typically we get elicit a nine one one response. So those are the things where people are getting trapped in the water, people are getting hypothermic, people are having head injuries from striking rocks because they're they're in in over their head literally or not wearing helmets, and then all the way to the to the most extreme, which are the drowning events. And so. That whole extreme from hydration through drowning, we expect to see a lot more of the hydration blister, totally preventable, very easily treated, very easily dealt with, to the fairly unusual, very difficult to manage on a river or anywhere you are, um, life-threatening head injury, drowning events. Um, yeah, that's a pretty decent mm -hmm. spectrum of what people should ex plan for and, and train for and try to prevent.